came right up to him. He's like, who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Hell it was, yeah. It was, he did that in a blouse. It was the blackest thing I've ever seen <laughs> Spencer do. He did it in a blouse. Where you people are the problem and the solution, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to you people. Um, yeah. I have Ryan Henry, very hilarious comedian. I want to say now you're um, now you're kind of because now you're you're a road comic technically. Oh yeah, big time. Technically, <laughs> yeah. technically, big time, dude. <laughs> so you're I've just, had Akron, yeah. Cleveland, yeah, the greater Cleveland area. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you you've actually fucking done that shit. Okay. Yeah. 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 One yeah. other city. I'm on the road. You can catch me. Nice. Maybe in Ohio. Not, maybe in, in Ohio. Yeah where you're going to say the first two letters and wait for someone to say it back, or die a lonely death. You know, Ohio's actually pretty sweet. I've heard. I've, I've only been there in terms of, like, music and shit. Okay. Um, so their comedy seems very, like, their mics are super... So, in Buffalo, we're super lucky because everything is very centralized, right, downtown. Yeah. Um, a lot of, like, comparable cities are not like that, so you have to travel out to, like, like we, the equivalent of like Amherst or fucking like you really got Ellicottville. Really? Yeah. So like they're very spread out. So you'll get like super rural like uh, factory work, like blue collar guys, and then also there will be like downtown in that city. Yeah. And the fringe where you're getting like a more like a uh, mainstream type crowd. It's so, awesome. So, I mean, the way you described it though, it's like. They put mics in the most destitute areas, yes. and then they <laughs> well, they need a laugh. <laughs> yeah, you know where like uh, in the South Towns, where that huge like old metal or whatever it was plant burned down to the ground. Yeah, yeah, a huge shit. I did like a dive bar next to like a not yet burnt down plant. <laughs> <laughs> to be burnt. Yeah. Okay. There was a man in a tr like a custom made Trump bucket hat. Wait, 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 wait. You mean custom made? Like this was obviously like a home right at Reds project. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like he had the audacity, and apparently Ohio still has lids, to like make his own. <laughs> ah, he went to fuck. He just fucked up a lid. He just fucked up one specific hat. Yeah, he ruined definitely some non-white guy's day with that hat for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the black guys walking down the street yelling? That's crispy as fuck, yo. What's all that hat? I've never seen that shit. <laughs> the fuck makes America great again. God damn it, motherfucker. <laughs> Trent fooled again. But even like that guy was willing to be won over with just jokes. Like, yeah, uh, I teased him <laughs> very, <laughs> very heavily. Dude, in Ohio, Thursday night football, Browns paying the bank. Browns playing the Bengals. That's got to be a fucking. And war. he still was willing. Absolute war, which is great sometimes. You need it. But everyone there was like drinking, watching the game, that like the comedy was good enough to where like they enjoyed that. They'd be like, comedy, game. And like in that situation, that's the best case scenario. Really? Dude, I, I've never encountered a place that had fucking games going, had the sports going, and comedy can coexist. Like, it, you, you ever, ever been to Tudor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been to Tudor. But everyone was watching the game during my set, so I don't. I've never been in a place where. <laughs> Tudor's the ultimate, like. Meh. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah, so enjoyable. This guy knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Fourteen three. Okay, great score. Dude, yeah, Ohio's fun. I fucking. Uh, I want to get out to Ohio. You have to. even like the Polish Falcon Club. Polish Falcon Club, like ordinarily, I don't go to place where poles go. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I steer clear. I go to my parents' house. <laughs> I mean, unless I'm wearing red or, or the they had an old like he must have been like a road comic at some point mm -hmm. in like he must live close to that place and like he just goes up there and does like new jokes every week. He's just like an old comedy head and he like he crushes. They're all like these old like really Polish like widows. Yeah. Would just crush and then be like, hum, 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 ladies, I'll see you after. And then, like, hit him with, like, another joke. And then, oh, like, I'm so turned down, I forgot to raise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so he's, he's like the dude who fucking, he's the dude who seriously, like, gathers all these chicks because they've seen him multiple times, or is he just, 
He's the guy. He's not there to fuck, but like he's just yeah. He's also the guy. He's the guy in that area. He was so cool too. Just like this old ass dude who writes new jokes all the time just because he oh. likes it. Yes. Yeah. And that shit is so good to see. I love that. I, I genuinely love that. Yeah, it was the best. What I mean, they probably have. Yeah, but even like that guy who's been writing new jokes for so long, he's got to have some great pussy jokes. Like, he's got to have some pussy dick jokes. That oh, are hilarious. He 100% <laughs> <laughs> did. He's like, watch me turn these old cougars out with a pussy joke. I wish I could remember a single one. I mean, with so many he's written. It's hard to keep them. <laughs> it's hard to keep. They knew like his, like his tater tot order. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like sour cream on the side. And it's like, mm, thank you, babe. <laughs> thank you, sugar. Yeah, all right. He calls everyone a sugar. Thank you, hon. I can. What would that? What would that guy's drink of choice be? Old fashioned? No. No. Uh, Try to stay sharp so you can keep those jokes like ready to go. Yeah. Sarsaparilla, dude. <laughs> Yo, so like it reminds me of dudes who would come out to like a, a Milky's Wednesday night. Yep. And they don't they don't tell jokes. They won't get on stage, but they'll be riffing, like kicking jokes left and right. Hey man, let me tell you, what did the fox say to this? Yeah, I mean, what? Yeah. what hey, I, don't, I don't I don't I don't give a shit. <laughs> get 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 on, get on stage. I don't I don't care. I'm halfway through my set. Dude, don't run jokes on me. So <laughs> <laughs> like, you think I don't know when you're running jokes on me? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you think I don't know? Please. Go, like, and I don't know how to usher them to... So I'm, I'm going to find a new way to get that person out of the crowd. Completely. Dude, if I could give one pro tip, if I... If, you've, you've earned the pro title. Giving out pro tips. I think this is the only pro tip I'm allowed to... Like, <laughs> all, all year, be like that is a pro tip. Okay. Be, if you're doing... Like a uh, funniest contest, like the obviously yeah. Buffalo Helium has the Buffalo's funniest on Helium Comic Club Buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> Book me, please. <laughs> uh, if one of those dudes is in the contest and they're like, "How long have you been doing it?" First time is your answer. <laughs> <laughs> Say first time and then focus on your set. Because if you go like, "I've been doing this for however long," they'll be like, they'll nonstop badger you. Yeah. Dude, every time I'm in the green room for the Helium Funniest Contest, there's always at least like one or two dudes in there that's like, they're brand new, they don't do open mics. Yeah. They're in the contest, and then like somebody else is like, I've been doing it for three years, and I'm like, you fool. <laughs> you, I've <laughs> never done this before. <laughs> <laughs> and then they get badgered by questions, I'm like laughing at them. <laughs> You're like, all right. And this goes to this. You're a dumbass. And this goes to this. Yeah. Now they can't focus like on their notebook. You so. can't. Some dickhead with one name going on stage is like, <laughs> yo. Know, and where do they come from? Where do the people get this this uh, unwavering confidence? Local dive bars. <laughs> <laughs> it should be the yeah local dive bars funniest drunk first round. Are you this. searching for unearned valor or <laughs> undeserving confidence? Go to your dive bar. Tutor. Um, <laughs> shout out. You might have almost fights if people weren't too drunk there at event. <laughs> really? At Tudor? I have not seen the fights. I've, the time I, I saw a fight was when Spencer almost slapped the shit out of, uh, what's his name? You don't have to say his name. No. When he, yeah, when he always slapped We all know this guy. Wears glasses. Is he chubby? No. No. Oh. Skinny guy. All right, I like this game. Guess who? Are you you ready? ready? All right, all right. Skinny guy. Okay. Um... First name is weird. Last name sounds like a soup. Fuck. <laughs> Chinese soup. We have an Asian stand-up? <laughs> no. <laughs> Dim Sum Po? <laughs> no. That's not a cow. <laughs> <laughs> That's not him. That's not him. Fuck. I just say that. Moo Goo Guy jokes. No. Um, fucking, what's his name? Misa. Oh, I'm an idiot. Left <laughs> off of it. <laughs> He leapt off of stage. Yo, he was not fucking having it. Dude, like, Mo Mohawk in the wind. Spence was not fucking having it. Leapt off stage, came right up to him. He's like, who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Hell it was, yeah. It was, he did that in a blouse. It was the blackest thing I've ever seen <laughs> Spencer do. He did it in a blouse. Spencer is one of my favorite humans who's ever existed. He's, he's amazing. I love him. But he did it in a blouse, and ever since then... Uh, you know, there's a couple times when Spencer's been my hero. He's 
he's Soderbergh. He can like um, what, not only wear a blouse, look good, <laughs> look good in it, like proper, like oh shit, like is that like the easy shit, dude? He's like, no, it's handbags. I pick women's section. Kills it, and then like also get gangster in it. <laughs> yes, yes he can, and it was fucking amazing.